we're going to do something different today. Well, not really different. We're going to figure out the arc of the hull. And uh, I've got my pencil or my pencil with a little barrel thing on it to follow along on the edges and then a piece of scrap uh, wood with a straight edge along it. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight because we'll be shaping it. But let me go ahead and, and repoint to what we're going to be doing and um, we'll start again. I already know that this, I use my uh, the big rafter square going this direction on the side uh, to know that it's flat. So I don't have to worry about that direction, but in here we've got the rocker. And it seems to be somewhat, and a little bit more in here. But we'll figure out the worst possible scenario, which is right in here. And the other way so the lights on it. And we'll, I don't even need that, it's flat enough I can dispense with that. I'll draw my pencil along. And it's just barely an arc. Let me, uh, let me try this again on cardboard. trim this out to see whether it's worth our time. Okay, I've got it trimmed out along the pencil line there and back into the curve and it's pretty tight. I don't see any daylight under there. It's pretty consistent. I should have probably put a mark in here and here so I know that uh, the consistency of it. I tell you, it's, it's so close on the other side. Let me set up, uh, let's go around the other side and see what's happening over there. Okay, we've got the, the piece in here. As I sweep it down, it's just, maybe down in here might be a little bit, but it couldn't be much more than what the thickness of the uh, gloss cloth we're going to be putting in. Let me get some cloth and see how much of a thickness change it is there. Okay, I got a little bit of four ounce cloth in here. I'll probably use six ounce cloth. It's a little bit, uh, a little thicker. But on the back side, it's fine. The only place that I have a little dip was in here where I had a little bit of a, a void where I removed some of the plywood. So I think I'm going to go ahead and mix up some a little bit of fairing compound and then fair that edge in around uh, the edges and then uh, put a layer of glass on it and then once that cures then do some um, uh, I don't know if I'll do any um, uh, fairing around the edges. I think I'll be able to cut uh, the glass up where I want it and then sand it, you know, bevel it in uh, the, the new glass with the old glass and then uh, a couple weave fills over the top of it and uh, the paint we should be okay for this. So uh, I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, we're going to stick some fairing compound. This is the System 3 slow fare, but you only get this stuff in the gallon and, and half kits. But I use it enough so it makes it worthwhile. Or here's I should really tape some plastic down around this.
thing I love about slow fare is the extended work time. I like quick fare too, but as it says, it sets up quick. I think we have enough. Let me go find something else to use this excess material on. Yesterday I filled in the uh, some voids with the uh, the fairing compound, and now it's today it's dry. And I put a heat lamp on it for a couple hours yesterday afternoon to kind of just warm up the area and to speed up the uh, activation of the of the epoxy. So uh, today I sanded it off. Uh, you know, get all the ridges down, and I've cut out a couple little pieces of uh, fiberglass cloth, and I'll reset up here. But you know, this is one of them, and uh, it uh, it's leftover scrap from if you've seen uh, like when I built the last boat, I kept saying, you know, save your uh, scrap fiberglass cloth and, and treat it nicely, fold it up, and put it away because you're going to be using it again eventually on something. And it's always nice to have it around and not have to go out and buy extra. So let me reset up to show you what I've got here and then we're going to wet this out. And what I'm going to do, once I get this wet out and tomorrow it'll probably be cured, I'll do a, a check to see how uh, you know, smooth it is. Uh, but I need to flip it over and start working on the inside um, and get that done and painted so then I can turn it back over again and then work on the finish of this. And then while I'm working on this, the inside can be drying, uh, the paint. And then uh, when I get done, then uh, when I put on the LPU touch-up, uh, it'll set for a week or so uh, before I can move it outside and it'll you know, harden up and cure. Okay, this is the little cloth. I'm going to put a little bit in the middle here uh, to kind of give it some hump. And I've trimmed it down to where over in here, this area here, it's thicker because you have the uh, three-inch tape and there's a little bit of fairing compound in there. The same down in here, you, I don't know if you can see it or not, there's a line right here which was the edge of the yellow fairing when we did this boat where I mixed uh, yellow pigment paste to the uh, fairing compound to do the edge of the tape along in here. So it's a little, little thicker right in here and then up in here, but when I put this extra cloth that I've got and I smooth it down oops, over the top, it feels pretty good around the edges. There might be a little, little bit of dip in here, but that's because I'm coming up. By the time I trim it around, it should feel flat. If not, then I'll put on another layer of glass and then see how the shaping comes in. And then I may put some uh, fairing compound, uh, a sloppy mix on the weave fill too, and use that to, to fill up the stuff. So let me get some uh, uh, System 3 epoxy out, some silver tip, and we'll uh, wet this out and continue. Okay, let's pour this out. I don't... I'm trying to keep the mixes to a minimum so I don't have any leftover. I don't really have anything to use it excess on at the moment. I need to get the table saw out and make more clamp wood.
around and then right along the edge of where I can see the white of the last LP of paint and trim that. Still a little dry, let me mix up some more and come back. Okay, we're back. I'm surprised that uh, that first layer had almost enough to wet out both both layers. We'll be careful not to put too much on this time. Okay, let me go get my knife and we'll trim this around. Well, my camera's telling me I need to charge the battery pack, so I'm going to have to call this one quits. Uh, I've got it on. We're going to let this set. I'm going to take a look at it one more time, and then uh, for the uh, with the um, template we made for the curvature, and I think I just may call it, you know, good and go on. Uh, if that's the case, then I'm going to flip it over, and we'll start working on the inside to get that put back together again. <laughs> 